the spaceship towing a meteorite is approaching Earth. As the order is given, the ropes slowly release the meteorite, which loses traction and plummets toward Earth. Where did such a powerful alien civilization come from? It turns out that just one day ago, mankind landed on the back of the moon again. As soon as the astronaut stepped off the ship, he saw an amazing sight, a supermind sight in front of him. Just as he was surprised, a Nazi soldier suddenly appeared behind him and killed him with a single shot. The Nazi soldier takes his gun and fires it at the spaceship, capturing another cosmonaut. It turns out that the Nazis did not disappear after their defeat in World War II, but took a spaceship to the back of the moon and set up a huge military base in an attempt to counterattack the Earth. At this point, another astronaut was also brought to the base. The Nazis were surprised to find that the astronaut looked like a basketball star. Tom grabbed the helmet and attacked the soldiers when they weren't looking, knocking out a few of them, and finally jumped onto a spaceship and taunted the Nazi officers. The next thing he knows, he is knocked down by a gear and falls out of the spaceship. Luckily, his suit is strong enough to keep him alive. Jack is still confessing his love to his girlfriend, and is unaware of the danger. Suddenly a door falls down, Tom jumps down from it and opens a door with his hand. In order to prevent Tom from escaping, Lisa wrapped herself around him like an octopus. But she didn't realize that what she opened wasn't a door but an air valve, and the huge gravitational force instantly sucked both of them out of the room. Tom reacted quickly and grabbed Lisa tightly and threw Lisa back to the base with a force. At this time, Jack also rushed over. Tom was arrested again. Jack will be handed over to Dr. Einstein. Dr. Einstein looked at Tom's dark body and gave him a shot of bleach to turn Tom into a white man. Dr. Einstein also found Tom's cell phone. They found out that the cell phone runs hundreds of thousands of times faster than their computers. So they could use the cell phone to activate the weapon they've been working on for years, the Twilight of the Gods. But the phone ran out of battery at that moment. So in order to charge it, they decided to travel to Earth to retrieve the rechargeable battery. A spaceship slowly landed, and out of it came several Nazi officers. They came from the backside of the moon and came to Earth just to get the rechargeable cell phones. They go back to the moon to charge their cell phones and launch the Twilight of the Gods to complete their plan to attack Earth. At this time, the United States is electing its next president. In order to get re-elected, the female president arranged for Mary to help with the plan. But her men are all idiots. Mary is so angry that she takes out her weapon on the spot. Mary was lost and took a walk on the street, but she was caught by Jack who came to Earth. Jack told Mary all the plans. It turns out that Jack's only purpose of the trip is to cooperate with the president to seize the position of the moon. For she saw Jack's ambition and brought Jack and Lisa to the president. Lisa successfully impressed the president with her inspiring speech. As expected, the president used Lisa's speech to gain the support of the people and was re-elected to his position. What Jack didn't know was that the Nazi fur had already seen his plot and had gathered all the troops to send a spaceship to Earth. When the fur arrived on Earth, he quickly found Jack. Just as he raised his gun to finish Jack off, there was a sudden burst of gunfire and the fur and his soldiers were instantly killed. Mary arrived just in time. Jack became the new leader of the Nazis. Jack became the new leader of the Nazis and abandoned Mary and boarded a spaceship. He was ready to go back to the moon to realize his wish of unifying the Earth. He rallied his troops and flew to Earth. The spaceship soon passed through the Earth's atmosphere. Countless battleships flew over New York. Shells rained down on the city and unsuspecting people fled. But the president did nothing about it because that's exactly what he wanted. If he led the army to defeat the Nazis, his presidency would be unassailable. Soon the president used the defense forces to fight back against the Nazis. Advanced fighter planes and powerful anti-aircraft missiles soon wiped out the Nazi army. With a huge technological gap, the Nazis had to resort to their own killer weapon, the meteorite attack. Countless airships hovered over the Earth, dragging huge meteorites behind them. As the meteorite broke free, it smashed into the center of New York City, instantly turning the city into an inferno. The world reconvened at a summit to stop the Nazi conspiracy and united in the use of nuclear weapons to fight back. The U.S. dispatched a new generation of warships, and Mary was appointed supreme commander. As the ship unfolded its memories, a myriad of high-tech equipment was ready to be deployed. At the president's command, the nuclear-armed ships began a frenzied attack on the Nazi army, followed by warships from other countries, sending the Nazi army back to the moon. In order to kill them, the battleships flew all the way to the moon, preparing to completely destroy the Nazi base. Jack also returns to the moon base at this time, and is forced to send out his living forces to protect the base. But the power of the Earth battleships is too great for the Nazis to hold back. Mary directly ordered to drop nuclear bombs into the Nazi base. As each bomb is dropped on the base, the base is instantly destroyed. Jack was forced to take the rechargeable batteries he brought back from Earth and prepared to activate his secret weapon, the Twilight of the Gods. With a loud noise, a huge monster broke out from the moon, and the Earth's warships were just like hands in front of him. 
Jack didn't hesitate to activate the ship's weapon. The moon was instantly blown up, and all the Earth's warships were also affected. After clearing the obstacles, Jack aimed at the Earth again. At this time, Lisa and Tong also came to the ship. Tong took advantage of the Doctor's attention. To destroy the Twilight of the God ship system is about to succeed, but the Doctor suddenly sneak attack Tong. Tom is about to be killed. Lisa starts the raid out. As the Nazi national anthem plays, everyone subconsciously extends their arms. Tom takes this opportunity to attack the doctor, but Jack is still aware that they are being tricked and stops his men. Lisa appears in front of Jack with a gun. When Lisa was not paying attention, Jack kicked the smoke device. Lisa didn't know what to do. Jack suddenly appeared behind Lisa, and the gun ran into Jack's hands. She thought she was about to die. Lisa was in a hurry. This action caused Jack to panic and unconsciously raised his right hand after Lisa. Jack was instantly electrocuted. Lisa took the opportunity to grab her high heels and finish Jack off. At the same time, Tom tore down the control system of the ship. Without the control system, the spaceship began to plummet. Before the ship exploded, Tom and Lisa escaped from the ship. At this moment, the countries started another world war for the resources of the moon. But this time it was in space. 